Alright ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Video Games. You can see all of our arcade games at lionsarcade.com. And we like to videotape whenever we get in a new arcade game that's pretty cool. And today we have one in that's pretty cool. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the famous Simpsons arcade game. This was made by Konami in the early 90s. Um, and it would have been one or two years after The Simpsons actually came out on television. Or a couple years, maybe. Um, it's a really cool game. Four people can play at the same time, so you can be the whole family, or most of the family. You could be Marge. Okie dokie. Homer. Bart. Or Lisa. And I figured we would videotape a little bit of this just so you could see this. This was a really cool game and a lot of people really want to have one of these. Um, Konami at the time was making a lot of really cool four player games like this. The first one they did was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles which was a big hit and they did uh, X-Men, they did The Simpsons, they did Turtles in Time which was the second Turtles arcade game, they did Sunset Riders, and that may be it. They may have done one or two more, but they had these really cool cabinets that they did with full side art like this, and four players could play at the same time. So, now one interesting thing about these I'll show you is that, uh, as you can see from the front, we've got a new marquee on it, and a new control panel overlay on it. The artwork on the control panel is new and looks really nice. But if you go around to the side, the side art's faded. You can buy that side art and replace it. Um, we thought this was faded enough and still presentable enough that we'd leave it on. Um, the new side art's really expensive and it, it's really hard to get on there to where it looks any better than this, to be honest. It's easy to get a lot of wrinkles in it, thanks, so we decided we'd just leave the original. You can see it's faded in certain places. And the thing about these Konami games is they're really hard to clean, so what, what people would do a lot of times is at an arcade somebody would spray Windex on it or something to clean it and when you do it actually takes the paint off of the side art, which is a shame because the side art's really cool. And all the Konami games were like that. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles it's hard to clean, the X-Men's hard to clean, Simpsons is hard to clean. It was just the way they printed it, it had a an ink that didn't stay on there very well so as soon as somebody tried cleaning it it started fading like that so but it still looks pretty good and we liked it so we left it you can buy replacement for it but like I said it's hard to get it on there right and it's expensive and why not leave the original but anyway this is The Simpsons by Konami really cool game we buy games that are broken usually. Uh, sometimes they're still working, but usually they need some help. They need to monitor, rebuilt, or the controls aren't working right, or needs a power supply, or the wiring's messed up, or a lot of things could be wrong with it. But we buy them and we fix them up and get them working good again where they're nice and fun. As you can see, we've got this one looking pretty good. The monitor's nice. There's Lisa doing her thing. And once we get them fixed up, we sell them. And so people usually buy them for their home game room. Um, we're in downtown Rock Hill, which is about 15 minutes south of Charlotte, North Carolina. We're in Rock Hill, South Carolina, uh, just below Carowinds, if you know where that's at. So this was a really cool game because you could play all four players at the same time. So that's a little overview of the cabinet. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the camera off, and when I come back, we'll have it set up where you can see the, uh, the monitor a little bit, and I'll play through and... We'll uh, we'll check out a little bit of the gameplay. So, all right. See you in a few. All right, folks. We're back. I'm just gonna let it play through the attract mode a little bit to kind of show you what it does while it's just sitting there waiting for a quarter. This was a cool game. I don't know how long it took them to release it for the home systems. It wasn't on the Super Nintendo. Um, which I'm not sure why they didn't release it, but...
So basically they redo the intro from the television show. Now I'm just filming the monitor. This has a rebuilt Wells Garner 25 inch K7000 monitor in it. And um, you can use video capture uh, equipment, but I'm just taking a video of what the monitor actually looks like. Some of those lines you see in the image, that's just an artifact of the camera. It doesn't look like that whenever you're uh, actually looking at the monitor. All right, so this is Bart and Lisa. Now you'll notice they're gonna do something really cool. Watch, they'll grab hands. If you're playing two players, the players can all join up together. So when they do that, all they had to do is run into people. <laughs> and they can all join up. Uh, Homer and, and um, Marge have one, and uh, Homer and Bart have one. It just depends on the two characters what they do whenever you uh, join up together, whenever you're playing multiplayer. So. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a little bit. I think I'll play as Lisa since she's over on the end and I won't get in the way of the camera. So I'm going to coin it up. Now, whenever you add a credit, um, of course, they say their name and you have to add a credit in the particular coin slot for the particular person you want to play as. So. You can see Lisa's got credits. Bart, Homer, and Marge don't. That's so that if you were playing your friends and you put a quarter in, like at the arcade, if you put a quarter in, they wouldn't steal your quarter by hitting the start button. So, so we'll play through as Lisa a little bit, and it'll show you a little bit of what the first level is like. Oh no! What happened? Maggie. Downtown Springfield. Here we go. So like what like was common with these games at the time, you've got an attack button, and each person attacks with their, their weapon. And then you've got a jump button, and then you can hit both at the same time. That makes them do a, like a special move like that. And if you get caught, like it said, you can wiggle the joystick. You can see how animated they made it. Uh, and it's a typical side-scroller, you can't go backwards. But uh, so we've got the rusty barnacle and we've got the lady up there. I don't know. Oh man, I got too close. She does not want you going in. You can see the kid in the arcade there. He's playing the new Simpsons arcade game. Let's see if we can go in. Nope. And a lot of these you can hit the stuff that's in the way like this. Well, I probably should have went the other way. There's Principal Skinner. <laughs> they really they really went through a lot and tried to add a lot of the characters from the show. like the looks of that garage door. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, how'd I know? the 
buttons. Drop I will. Your balloon and go. Ready? Go! <laughs> All right, I still got it. Stage two, Krusty Land. Lots of cool attention to detail. Like if you noticed when she came in, she was she had her bonus her balloon that she blew up in the bonus level. Santa's little helper. Oh man, he got away. Shock. Discount Cemetery. Thank you. 
Slingshot, too bad Bart's not here. in the most happy. Mose looks a lot bigger than it does on TV. getting a prank phone call. There's Barney. <laughs> I 
Bo's got a beer bottle. He's trying to get into it. Uh oh. About, about done, folks. There's her buddy, the saxophone player. What was his name again? They got me. All right, folks, that's just a little overview of the Simpsons arcade game. Came out in 1991. You can see a lot of other games like this that we have for sale. This one, we, you know, whenever you're ready to get one or whenever you see this on YouTube, this one may already be gone, but you can check out our other stuff at lionsarcade.com or stop by our shop and you can see them in person. Hope you enjoyed the video.